Hello and welcome to my 22nd tutorial part 2 of uh, how to make a simple hangman game in C++ and we left the last tutorial here when we drawn the whole hangman as you can see he looks pretty good and now we need to uh, take care of the more complicated stuff and that's the logic that will be used for actually running the game we now need somehow to track which letters were guessed by the user. So uh, the way we can track that how many wrong and right guesses did the user get, uh, we can actually create a string here that will be called guesses. And it will be a simple uh, string that will contain letters the user has typed in the app. So let's create a function that will display the remaining uh, letters on screen so this is this part this part so in in order to do that uh, we'll create a new function that we'll call print letters and let's call the input string guess or for example let's call it input never mind and we need a character from and a character to and in a moment this will all be clear to you so first um, uh, I need from and to in order to display these actual letters here so from will be letter A and to will be letter M and we will loop through all these letters and show them like this so in, or in order to achieve that we just say for the first character will be from until we go, we arrive to the final character that's two and we increment the string. So the ASCII table for characters will go from, for example, A to, in this case, M, but we can conf configure this. So we show, for example, F to M or D to H or anything you, you want. You just type the characters here and here for the range. And now when we loop through all the characters, we need to check if uh, the input string contains the current character. So if it doesn't contain it, we write end pass. So it means if the find returns this, it means that it didn't find a character. Uh, we just actually need to display the character as it exists still. So let's create a string that will be s, called s, it will be an empty string. So if we actually didn't find the letter in the input string, then we're gonna print it. So let's say it's like this. So we print it uh, by doing this. We also add a space, so it looks uh, nice. And if the letter is already in the input string so one of these letters that we loop through from for a from a to m then we actually just add an empty space so a placeholder and now we need to finally uh, make a function that will mm, draw all these characters here and we can do it by using the function but let's first test if everything works so for example let's say we guessed uh, letters a g and h and we loop from a to m i guess for example yeah, yeah. let's go to m and when we run the program now okay yeah uh, i forgot uh, to actually print this <laughs> print the message here so we need to use the print message function that we created in the last tutorial and we print the s string and we don't want to print the top and bottom borders again so we set them to false and when we run the program now we should get something like this okay this this def definitely doesn't look <laughs> like I, I wanted it to look 
So we actually made a mistake here, I guess. And what mistake is that? As you can see, we can't do this like this because um, this, this is executed before we added to string. So for example, if the letter is A and we add the space, the space has a special value. I'm, I'm not sure which one exactly, but the integer value that's added to the I and then we get some random character and that's not what we wanted. Yeah, we can actually do it like this. So we'll say s is plus equal to i, so we add a character, and then we add a space on the second second line. So now when we run the program, we will get the character. So a is missing, and as you can see also g and h are missing. So let's copy this again and print it here and let's say from uh, n to z from n to z because we need to print the second line and let's put the same same string here so you can see that the letters are drawn as you can see uh, for example let's try another word for example alexa and let's see how it looks like And it seems pretty nice. As you can see, the letters are not showing as expected, which were in the string Alexa. Uh, we can, of course, fix uh, the, the padding by adding two spaces here. And this will actually, actually make the letters look more neater. So as you can see, you can see exactly the missing letters. And now let's make a function that will use this print letters function that will actually do this thing here. So let's call it print uh, available letters. Letters. And let's call the input parameter taken. So taken letters. And let's cut this from here and put it here. And we actually change this parameter Alexa with this input string and when we call print available letters and print our word for example Alexa again we actually see that the user used all the all those letters We also, as you can see, when we run the uh, when we run the game, we also need to add uh, a separator here, and we wanted to do it like this: available letters. So let's copy this text from here, and um, let me stop this and actually print use the print message function. So we print the text that we want, and then we run the game now. You can see it starts to look like the game we want, but still we don't have the input and we don't load the actual word from a string, but we will come to that shortly. You can of course uh, use these print letters to split the, split the, uh, the letters in more rows if you want, uh, but I wanted to put them in two rows. So you can, for example, do it from A to F and then from G to L or something like that and in multiple rows, but it's all up to your preference. Now, when we finish this print letters function, we'll use the same logic to actually uh, make a function of show the word like this, for example, uh, but it's a little bit different. We actually need to show the placeholders for the letters that um, are not revealed yet or are actually not guessed yet. So let's create a function that will be called uh, print word and check win. And let's create the first parameter that we call word and the second one will be guessed. And this will be the actual this string from here. We will map it when we uh, call the function. And the word is the actual word that needs to be guessed. 
This function will also check uh, if the user has actually guessed the word and returned true or false. So we should change this to bool. Uh, that's why we called it check win. So now we need to start by creating a, a variable that will be called one and it will be set to true automatically. So we assume that the user has already won the game and we will uh, change that if we see that he didn't win the game. So let's start a for loop that will go from zero, sorry, uh, that will go from zero to the word length. So we loop through the characters, through all characters of the word, and we say if guest does not contain the current character of the word, a similar thing we done we've done um, we've done above with the end pass so find will return end pass if it doesn't find the current character uh, in the for loop of the word we will set uh, one to false so the user will not win and we also need one string up here we'll call it s and we will add the actual character that's a placeholder so that um, we actually don't show the current letter of the word to the user so we uh, switch it by with this character it's actually a placeholder for the letter else if uh, the character is already in the guest uh, string we need to show the character to the user so we'll uh, say s plus equals uh, the actual word so the actual word like this and we also add a space so everything looks a little bit better and in the end we need to print message oh sorry and the message is the string s and we just don't need to uh, print the top border as you can see the top order is set to false but the other one the bottom one is set to true and now let's test the function let's say print and check win and let's say for example the the word is something else for example alex s but we guessed alexa And when we run it, oh, we have some build errors. Oh yeah, oh, we need to return the actual value if we won or we didn't win. And I guess this is the this is a bad example, as you can see. Alex E, and it doesn't show uh, S because we didn't have it in the guest here, in the guest string. We can, for example. Uh, type here I don't know let's say string guesses will have some characters like a b h j i k k again l l things like that and let's switch this with the actual guesses and here with the actual guesses and when we run the program now we actually see that Alexis is not guessed but we all these words were already already guessed we need to print the placeholder as you can see it's not very beautiful so we don't have a separator here like we intended with the guess the word so let's copy guess the word and let's um, print it here print um, uh, message and we'll add the message and we'll print both borders so it looks nicer as you can see everything looks cool now and as you can see we've finished most of the game uh, you can play the game actually by uh, changing the values here but we don't want that we want actually the user to be able to change the values 
so that's about this for this part of the tutorial in the next part we will uh, finish the game thank you for watching please subscribe and see you in the next tutorial